Hi guys. I wanted to show you today the best way I've found to blend a sky with acrylics. If you don't have these two items, you need to get it and make your life way easier. Let me turn the camera around. Excuse me, I only have one camera. Let me turn it around. Position it. All right. There's this one. Floating medium. You need to get you a bottle of that. And this one's True Flow Drying Retorter. You mix these two together in your little, I use paper plates, so I can easily throw them away after. Let me show you. Hope it comes out on camera. Say about a teaspoon. And then do a little bit of retorter in there. Okay, and then you want to take your brush, mix it up. You can mix uh, just the sky part of your camera, or you can do the whole thing. But I have enough to do the whole thing, so let's do that. All right. This is the best way I've found to blend the sky. It will stay wet long enough for you to work it like oil. Now right now I got the thin body acrylics but do plan later on to get some thick body acrylics. Will act like oil paint. Okay. Now what we want to do now is wipe off our brush, paper towel, and go over it again and wipe off any excess. Don't want too much on there. Just pass it and wipe, pass it and wipe. Okay, want to be good. Okay, now what we want to do is start adding our our yellow where we think we want our sunset to be about right in there and it really helps to have uh, more brushes standing by like I have that one and these have you two fan brushes ready to blend okay now we'll go into the I'll change brushes, grab another one, and we'll do some orange. Let's do some orange real quick. It's about enough. And now I'll have to, I'll have to wash this brush. And then we'll grab some blue. I could have did more colors, but for time's sake, to make the video not so long, I wanted just kind of simple colors. It helps in upload time. It already takes so long to upload a video, guys. Okay. And now we're going to grab our fan brush and start from the inside and work up. Okay, I'm going to blend that a little bit. I'm going to put some white in there, but now we want to go up here. Okay, be very soft around the edges. Normal acrylic would have already been drying to the point where I couldn't blend it, but this retarder slows it down. So it's well worth its money if you do paintings. And when you're doing all paint, 
get Bob Ross's magic white. It's so nice. It spreads on effortless, no fighting. You just have to scrub in my paint, to scrub it in. This, the, the magic white, when you're doing all, there's no effort. Okay, let me wipe it off a bit. Do a little more blending while it's still wet. Right in that area. That's like the most difficult area when you go into darks with acrylic. Okay. And I'm going to call that good. Blended. Okay, now you can let's wash off our brush, our yellow one. Before it dries, it didn't have retarder, just the canvas had retarder on it. Okay, now we'll go into some white, and you can use still that big brush, we're just using the tip. Just using the tip. Put like some sun behind the clouds back there. We're not making a round ball. We could, but. To me, this looks more natural. Okay, and then we'll make some clouds higher up and blend that a bit more. Okay, we'll put a few clouds up here. I'm just going to do the sky today in this video, and then I'll make another one continuing. So I can upload it in a reasonable amount of time, won't take all day. Okay, and then grab that other brush. Where did it go? It's in my hand. I ain't got too, too many brushes. I mean big ones, that is. I got many little ones. Got a lot, a lot of little ones. Alright. That's a dry brush. We'll blend the bottom of those clouds out. Like that. Okay. And we'll go to the other side. Put another little happy cloud, like Bob would say. Floating around, having a good time. Wipe it off real clean because we're wanting to blend the bottom of this cloud out like that. Okay, uh, what do you think? Maybe one more. Let me grab another paper towel. Grab another one. All right. Just a little bit more. Little clouds here and there. Like that. Don't want to go too crazy with it. I like natural looking paintings, things that you might find in nature. Okay. Okay, clean your brush, your other one. And let's blend softly. Okay. Wipe. And blend this one. Mm hmm. All right, guys. All right, that's my tutorial on how to paint a sky with acrylics and blend it. So, you, as you can see, that drying retarder and floating medium together made it wet. In fact, it's still wet, guys. The whole thing is still wet. You can hopefully, hopefully you can see it shining on camera. I don't know, but I can see it shining. So I had plenty of time to blend. All right, guys. I'm going to continue tomorrow 
with another video and finish this well I don't know if finish it but we'll continue on this painting okay thank you for watching